Hello everybody, this is Michael 217 and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Uh, last time we turned back into a human and it's apparently light and night time now. And now we can finally head towards the first dungeon in the game, the Forest Temple. And we just got a key apparently from the uh, oil guy. And uh, I just recently found out after recording that last episode that um, that bottle of oil he was talking about that's worth a hundred dollars or not a hundred dollars, hundred rupees that I was complaining about and saying, oh, oh, uh, that's a fucking ripoff. Well, it turns out that the bottle is included, and uh, it's not just an oil refill to go in into your bottle because that's the original I thought. It's just oh, you're buying oil for the bottle we already have. But no, it's a whole- what the hell? No. No, 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 I just replaced these. You guys remember I just replaced these a couple of- no. I just replaced these. Oh, good lord, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't understand, I'm probably going to have to get a new set of batteries soon. Ugh. I had to pull the batteries I just put into my remote, my new batteries, out of my, uh, Wavebird. You know, my GameCube controller, Wavebird, and God knows how much life is left in those. I mean, according, you know, to that, it's full, and that's what it said when I replaced them last time. <laughs> and then they suddenly just ran out. I don't know what happened. I don't know how they ran out. But, uh, to get back to the game, and not the batteries, uh, uh, we're, we just got our lantern stolen, as you can see, by the monkey that we... I th I'm pretty sure it's the same monkey that we were chasing earlier. It, it could be, it could not be, who knows. But he just took our lantern, and it turns out that the lantern can actually repel this uh, purple mist, which, which is still here. Remember, this is here when we were in the, the Twilight Realm as a wolf getting over here looking for the Tears of Light. And it stays here in the Normal Realm. And, again, as I was saying, uh, if you go into this purple mist, it's the same thing's falling down a pit, and you go back to the, the pier, or whatever that you want, you know, the, you know, the, the wooden pier that you walk out into this place from. So we just, we just have to follow the monkey at as he goes throughout this. Eventually, we will, we will be fighting enemies here, like Deku, Baba, some keys. We're right on cue. I don't know what that was. Is that keys? I can tell. There are rats around here, too, I believe. Yeah, he'll stop every now and then to, uh, swing it around to, to make the area larger. I don't know why he doesn't go straight to... It seems like he zigzags around a bunch. I don't know why he doesn't just go straight to where we need to go. Yeah, like, whenever an enemy comes out to attack, like a Keith or something, uh, he'll get scared and he'll just stay motionless until you kill it, so, gotta remember that. But yeah, that's just about all there is to this, just keep following the monkey, and all should be good. And, um... I, I was on the subject of oil earlier. We're actually going to find an, another way to refill oil because as he, you know, as this monkey is using our lantern, he's actually using up our oil. So come on, you need to swing it around. We're out of here. He's going to drop our lantern, and now it's going to be empty because he was swinging it around and using it to help us get through the mist. Can I pick it up, please? I, I see the A button. I see the A- can I please pick this up? Come on. I'm a little bit frustrated because of the battery thing. Okay, fine. I don't want my lantern. Fine, I don't care. I'm honestly going to skip it. Whoa, can I pick it up, please? I'd like to pick my lantern up. I see- I see the command, thank you. Oh, did I have to wait for Midna to, to tell me that the, the monkey dropped it? Am I that- do you think I'm that dumb game? That- whatever. I'm sorry. I'm... Ugh. God. I don't even know what to say. It's been a long week. I'm just playing this game to kind of relax myself. Okay, so the key that we got... 
Okay, so this is the door that we opened before we turned into a wolf and we were chasing the monkey. Because I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, okay, so where is what I was talking about? Another way we can refill oil. There should be like an oil refill around here. Because again, after the monkey was using it to lead us through the mist, uh, it ran out. So we need to refill it, but there should be a refill over here. I, mean, I don't really care because I don't think we even need it. Oh, uh, shit. I don't want to go back to this stupid guy. I swear to God, I don't want to go back to him. And, well, plus, I can't get back to him because... Oh, whatever, let's just go. I can't get back to him because I don't have any... Any, uh... Oil for my lamp for me to go back through the mist, so... I have no choice. Maybe... Maybe I was thinking about this further up. There's some enemies here to fight. Sorry that took me so long to kind of figure that out. And there should be like a shop over here. I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, we might come back. Oh shit! Is this. Oh, okay. We're about to get introduced to the uh, sword skills coming up after we get this blue rupee animation. <sighs> oh yeah, there he is. This uh, little bird guy. Who I think he sells potions. I'm not gonna mess with him though. I don't care. Plus, I only have one. Do I even have anything in that bottle? I have milk in it. I'll hold on to that in case I get low in health and I really need it. Alright, so this little golden wolf guy, uh, he's gonna come over and attack us, and actually take us into his own little world. And if you watch my Minish Cap Let's Play, you should be familiar with the concept that we're about to be introduced to, and that is learning sword skills. And this guy right here, what, does he have a name? Uh, we're gonna try to attack him, and of course, we suck, so he's just gonna fight back at us and tell us, no, you suck, so you need to learn from me. And apparently, uh, it's, pr it's a pretty popular theory that this guy is actually, like, a, a ghostly form of Link from Ocarina of Time. This is actually, like, the same Link that, uh, you play it as in Ocarina of Time. And because there's plenty of hints in this text that get, get that way, I'm gonna try to pay attention to it. I hope I didn't miss any of it. But he gives a few hints that make people believe that this could be the the actual link from Ocarina of Time, and like we're like his heir, and he's passing down his skills to us, which makes sense and it's kind of cool. But if that is true, that'd be the yeah, this would be the only time that I know of where links, like two different links, interact with each other. I don't know. I mean, I think that's you know, like to me, that seems like that'd be something that Nintendo wouldn't want to happen. Which is why I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they they haven't like officially announced anything. And uh, right here, by the way, this is the finishing blow. Once you knock the enemy down on its back, you'll get the command to finish, and you can kill it automatically. If you wait too long, the enemy will get back up, and then you have to, and, and then you just, you just have to do another cycle of attacking. It's not, you know, it's not required, but it makes taking out out enemies a lot quicker. Because, because typically, you know, taking out a, a, a typical enemy, the process is you slash it a bunch. Of, a bunch, it gets knocked back on its back, and then it gets back up, and you repeat the process, and then the second time you kill it. And with this, you don't have to repeat the process, you just kill it after the first knockdown. And it'll be useful against bosses, too, actually, which we'll see later. And, uh, so this, yeah, this is one of many sword skills that we can learn throughout this game. I don't know if I'm gonna learn all of them. I mean, I think you kind of get forced into learning all of them. Like, I don't think they're as optional as they are in Minish Cap. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. You know, after just doing my Minish Cap Let's Play, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You know, learning new s skills with your sword. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's, you know, what inspired this idea. But Twilight Princess came after Minish Cap. And we're actually almost there. Just take out these guys, I believe. Um, okay. Yeah, we still need oil, that's right. Okay, where's that refill at? There's supposed to be, like, 
in a pool of something. I wish I could see what's going on. I mean, and my lights are off this time, so I can see my screen, but I should be able to... Okay, well, let's have Midna tell us what to do. How about that? It's apparently we have to wait for Midna's command. Uh, what the hell? Okay, I have a feeling we do have to talk to this stupid bird. He's probably going to sell us oil. I can s I mean, I can see something for red potions there. C can I please buy something? What the hell? Can I please buy something from you? Can I please have your oil? I'm desperate. Check. I see check. God, well, what's with this? Like, what is with... <sighs> like, like, the command things are really off. And I don't know why. Like, I have to be, like, dead precise on them. Please don't tell me I'm wasting these rupees. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I can... You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna pay him. You don't have to pay this guy. Because I don't feel like grinding for rupees, I'm just gonna steal oil from him. You can actually steal from this guy. But, if you steal from him, he'll get... I mean, he's obviously not gonna like that. And, uh, I believe once you do this... What? He's not getting mad at you? I don't care. You know what? I'll show that off later, but... Basically, I think if you steal from him, you can't buy from him again. Like, he'll... Like, like every time you go into his shop... He'll attack you, and, he, and I don't think you can ever, like, um, make up to him or anything, and, you know, be able to buy stuff from him. But let's use this lantern to refill our, our <laughs> this oil to refill our lantern. Ah, I should just redo this episode, this is terrible, but I'm just gonna go with it. I'll call this the bitch episode. So let's complain about... Mid uh, episode. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's it's gonna be a shorty anyway because we are about to enter the dungeon. This is it, the forest temple. Finally, in what is this like the eighth part? And we will be tackling this next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. I promise I'll be in a little bit better spirits. It's been a long week, and um, yeah, I told, I I sincerely apologize for this episode, but at least it was short. And you didn't have to deal with my bantering too much, so this is Mike127 signing out.